Hello, hello, Kenny Evans here, another car video. And the title of this video is, being in a long-term relationship doesn't mean that you're happy. <sighs> Before I get started on this topic, I want to remind you guys, especially those who've been here for a while, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, be notified whenever I do um, upload uh, new videos. And if you just wanna support, if you like my content, hit the like button, you know, I appreciate it. So let's get back into this, this topic here. Being in a long-term relationship doesn't mean that you're happy. A lot of guys nowadays feel like the ultimate goal is getting a good job, getting in a long-term relationship, having kids, and dying old. You know, the whole white picket fence fairy tale. You know, and then, and I get it it's because of the movies and society as it's been promoting. You know, all that stuff. I mean, you know, you do have. Um, the feminist waves and all that is kind of against that. But even then, they want the same thing just in their own way. You know what I mean? And they're kind of winning. You know what I mean? And it's just like a lot of guys feel like Hollywood is real life. And, you know, they could just find one woman. And once they get that woman, their relationship problems are over. It's set. They'll be happy for the rest of their lives. You know what I mean? And 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 it could be that could work. If you have, you know, good game, or if you are a, you know, strong man, an alpha man, you know what I mean? Or, you know, a, a select man, as Ron Wills would say, you know what I mean? So it is, it's possible, but it's very highly unlikely for most people, you know, because most people aren't those kind of men, you know? So, and, and the fact that a lot of guys want to get in relationships it just says a lot, you know what I mean? A lot of guys are needy, you know? And, and you could tell from where they are what kind, how their relationship will turn out, you know? And it's just, it's just, and I get it, just because of how society and Hollywood have been promoting it, you know? So I don't blame the men. Uh, well, I, let, me, let me change that. I'm not mad at the men, but I do blame them because they should know better. You know what I mean? Um, again, a lot of guys feel like if they get in a relationship, it's over. You know, life is good. You know, and 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 you know the relationship box is checked. So um, I gotta discuss this so it helps some of you guys out, save you guys uh, from getting into miserable relationships or just in relationships when you're not supposed to get in a relationship. You know, so let's get started here. First, foremost, a lot of people get in relationships out of mutual benefit and not because they really want each other. It's pretty self-explanatory. You know, a man will want to lock down a beautiful woman because he may be like, oh my gosh, this is the most attractive woman I've ever seen or who has ever given me such attention and I got to just lock her down and make her mine before somebody else takes her. You know, but then he gets with her, starts dating her. You know, she totally disrespects him. You know, she thinks he's boring. She's a liar, constantly flirting with other men in front of him. You know, she doesn't like being around him, doesn't like talking to him, bad communicator, all these red flags. But he's, oh, man, she's just so beautiful. I got to get with her. And then, you know, you get the woman. She doesn't find the guy attractive. Again, she thinks she's boring, you know. She thinks he's weak, thinks he's needy, but he says, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. You know, he showers her with attention. He throws money at her. He wants to take care of her, you know, but again, she doesn't really like him, doesn't really want him, but he's doing all this, you know, giving her all this attention and money. She's like, what the hell? They get in relationships. And then as you know, it's miserable in the long run. You know what I mean? But they say, hey, I got to stay in the relationship for, you know, so, so you, 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 they look like they're happy. They look like, oh man, 
I'm in a relationship or I'm married. It's like a badge. I'm married. I'm in a relationship. You know what I mean? She gets that badge of being in a relationship. He gets the badge of being in a relationship with an attractive woman. You know, so it's like <laughs> they both benefiting on the outside. But again, behind closed doors, they're miserable. You know what I mean? So that is one one thing to always look out for when you see people who look so good on the outside, look like the perfect couple. You know, especially if you learn their story, you can kind of tell the kind of relationship they have. But then, of course, number two here, you have weak couples who will stay together and be miserable. Kind of what I was talking about in the first uh, example, you know, people who should not have been together and um, were never compatible. They get together, but because they don't want to get a divorce or they don't want to do it for the children or they don't want to have that stigma of being divorced, they stay together and they're miserable. They hate each other, but they like each other enough to not get enough of that flack that they would get from the outside world from getting a divorced, from getting a divorce or from separating. So they'd rather stay together and be miserable and kind of keep up the appearances as if they are happy, you know, to the outside world. You know what I mean? So that's a huge thing, you know, because that's, I think, uh, <laughs> A lot of people do that, even though if you think about it here in America, the divorce rate is over 50 percent. So maybe more people are not doing that. But those people who aren't getting a divorce, they are doing that. You know, what I mean, because you can tell when people are miserable. You know, what I mean, There's a lot of signs tell when people are miserable. So. So number three. Weak people get pressured into getting married or get into relationships. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Maybe you're, you know, a man or a woman, you're in your 30s, you kind of been around, having fun, doing your thing. You got your parents, family, friends, you know, co-workers, whoever cares about you telling you, man, you got to, you're getting too old. When are you going to settle down, have a family, you know, just kind of cut out your, your, your playboy, playgirl ways, you know what I mean? And settle down. You know, and then they're like, well, I mean, I'm not really ready. I don't feel like it, but, that, but it's like, but then when? Time, so, time is not going to stop for you. You're only getting older. You know, it'll be harder for you to have kids or, you know, you're not going to be able to find anybody if you get older. You know, even though for men, it's, you know, in theory, it's, 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 well, let me not say that. Depending on if you're a strong man, you know, it'll be easier for you, you know. But if you're, you know, obviously you're a strong woman. And that's not the emotional strong. You're, you're tough. You got to be like, man, no, the feminine woman, that's the alpha female. You know, that's a strong woman, the most feminine woman. She'll take care of herself. You know, they'll be able to find people, but those are just rare. Those kind of people are rare, especially in the advanced ages, you know, but people who feel the pressure from their family and friends, they, they, they find somebody who wants to get a relationship and it's like oh he's okay i'm not really that into him but all my pressure my family and friends and all these people I might as well just stick around and again it's the same cycle they get with somebody who they shouldn't have been with they don't really like and some people they will again they will stay in that relationship because they don't want to have that stigma of getting divorced you know i mean there's a lot of people you know who are in miserable relationships but they want to stay in the relationship because they don't want to have the stigma of being divorced. You know what I mean? And it started because of the pressure they got from their family, friends, and whoever else claimed to, to, to care about them. But in reality, they wanted to have some sort of stake in their in their life to feel better about themselves. You know what I mean? Out of their own insecurity. Because if you really care about somebody, sure, you'll, you'll throw out your idea if you think it'll help them. But ultimately, you'll accept them for who they are and what they choose to do. So, it's enough for that. But the fourth, 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 fourth thing here, you got to realize some people get in the relationship only because they don't want to be lonely. 
That's another big one. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't have uh, all the success in the dating world as a man. Or maybe you've dated all these bad men in the past as a woman. You know, and you're like, oh man, I just want me a good guy. And you find the first good guy, you know. You know, you, because you could get sex as a woman, but you can't get a relationship. So, you're like, you're tired of getting all the sex, but you just want a relationship. You know what I mean? And, you know, she, 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 she's looking for the first guy who will want to have a relationship with her. Because she tried it with all these strong men and alpha men, but she couldn't do it. So, she's, she's going to settle. You know what I mean? And the man... He may not have had the success with women. So because he hasn't had the success with women, he's going to get the first attractive woman who gives him attention. And, you know, he's going to make a move, you know. And then because they're both in that needy spot, again, boom, they get in a relationship and it's miserable. And, then, you know, <sighs> but appearances on the outside, they may look great. But in reality, they're miserable. You know what I mean? So, those are four, four, four little ways people could be in a long-term relationship and still be miserable and not be happy, you know. Always keep in mind when a relationship you see, uh, if you see people who are in the, one of those four categories, you know what I mean? So, um, that's all I got for y'all today. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know where you, whether you agree or disagree with, I, with what I said. Um, of course... Um, subscribe, like, let me know what other topics you want to talk, want me to talk about here in the future, because this channel is not just for me, it's for you guys. Of course, hit the notification button. And if you find value in this video, donate. I appreciate all donations. And always remember till next week, the strongest man is the happiest man. Peace.